What's up? My name is TechNoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be talking about how to fix crashing in Valorant. While this may not be specific to your issue, it may be a more widespread bug specific to your hardware, but this video will cover more general tips that should get your game working as it did previously. But before we begin, there's a couple of things to remember. If Valorant recently updated, you likely need to update your graphics card driver as well. Maybe also Windows, just to be sure. You'll either need to download and install the latest driver version off of NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel's website, but if you have a program like NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you're able to update your graphics driver from within that program, and you won't need to go through any other websites. That being said, it's super simple to do, so I'll leave you to go ahead and do that now if you haven't already, and check to see if the game's working. If it's not, we can try running the game as administrator. Hit start, type in Valorant, locate it, then right click and choose run as administrator. Same goes for the shortcut. If all of a sudden Valorant is working properly, we can continue to run Valorant in admin mode very simply. Simply locate the shortcut that you're currently running it off of. If it's on your desktop, you can right click that and click properties. Otherwise, if it's in your start bar, search for Valorant, open file location by right clicking on it, then open file location and once again, right click properties. Inside of here, we'll need to head across to the compatibility tab at the very top and make sure that we have run this program as an administrator ticked. Then click apply, okay, and try to run the game once more. This time, it'll always run in admin mode as long as you use that same modified shortcut. If you create a new shortcut, do the same thing with it. Other than that, if the game's still not working, make sure you meet the minimum requirements. This one's very simple and self-explanatory, so with the requirements on screen, let's skip forward to the next tip. This tip involves closing background programs and disabling any overlays that you could have running. If you added Valorant to Steam for the Steam overlay, try running it not through Steam. If you have the NVIDIA overlay or anything else like that turned on, maybe even the Discord overlay, try and temporarily disable those to see if the game starts running properly. Having such an invasive anti-cheat, anything hooking into it could cause an issue. On top of this, let's try and clear out some system resources. Hold Control Shift and press Escape to bring up the Windows Task Manager. My Task Manager likely looks different to yours as I'm using an inside build of Windows 11, a beta version. Head across to the Processes tab where we see a list of all programs on our computer and simply sort by memory and CPU to see what is using what on your computer. Then simply close any background programs that you have running that you don't specifically need open at this current point in time. Then try launch the game again. Now, if you can't actually get in game, but you're struggling to keep playing the game, it crashes randomly and things like that, what you can try is lowering your in-game settings and try to play it in windowed mode instead of full screen. There's a couple of weird issues that could be causing this, and it could be anything from running out of VRAM to issues with full screen on your computer. Playing in windowed mode with lower graphic settings can help alleviate some of these issues. Finally, the last tip I have to share is if you're currently overclocking your computer, whether it be your CPU or your graphics card, or even tightening the timings on your RAM, that's something you may want to temporarily turn off or disable before we actually play Valorant. Having unstable overclocks that push your computer a little bit too far can work fine in some or most games, but other games could have major issues with your overclock. Temporarily disable them and see if the game starts running properly as you expect or as you're used to. Besides that, there's not much else to try except for uninstalling Valorant and reinstalling it from scratch. Unfortunately, because it's not distributed through Epic Games, Steam, and things like that, there isn't a simple way of verifying game files. The best thing to do is simply uninstall it and download the installer from Valorant's website, which you'll find linked down below as well. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!